Hi guys, welcome to the show. Uh, wait, sorry. Chen, your girl Naomi. So today in the building we've got DJ Steer Crazy alongside Pumpy Twenty Eight and your boys Tony. So I've got a couple of songs on the list, and our first song is coming from Muzo, aka Alfonso. Rumor has it that the guy is running crazy, but before we say much, let's listen to the jump. <laughs> I'm from the Copa Belt and where I come from, Tom Five Muzo. So Muzo big ups. And everybody saying Muzo has gone mad. Stop with the hate, right? Just give the guy some support, man. He needs us, he needs you too. Juice me buns. Okay, so before we go to the next song, um about the running mad, do you think Muzo needs help or probably people are just making up assumptions or truly the nigga needs help. It's, it's, it's good you address that. Um, me personally, I feel what these guys are doing to Muzo, it's really unfair. Muzo is a very good artist, like I said before. So if we see something is wrong with him, let's help him. Let's not destroy his future or his career. Let's try to help the guy because Muzo is a very good artist and he can move Zambia music to another level. That's what I say. Okay. Yeah. So I, for one, I'm a fan of Muzo and I support what you guys say. So our next song is coming from the Forza and Empire, the guys from the Copa Belt. <laughs> Saying they're separating, yeah, they're like doing the music separately. Like the guy that just did this song is also an Empire uh, member, but he's well, doing his music alone. So well, I would yeah, but other than that, uh, song is perfect, the song is nice. I just hope these guys will just get back. So before here. we go to Stoda, uh, do you think them separating is a good idea or probably it's really I'm, not a good I'm idea? I'm actually coming to that, you know, um, working as a team. Is a very good thing as artists. So, like, we share different ideas. Yeah. So, same thing we do um, as downtown as well. We share ideas as a group. You get to learn more from your friends, and they get to learn more about you as well. So, them separating is not a good idea. I think you should just get back to that. Uh, this question goes to Stoner. Um, what would you think if 
the Hosier Emba went international, like started doing international songs. Do you think Zambian people would agree to that, or probably they just love the local thing? Manakopa, like no. Uh, I think they can. These guys can go international, especially with the dance, the Chimwemwe dance. I think it can really take them very far. Because they have a dance, they have a concert for a team. Yes, I'm yes, I mean, in Osaka, and most of the people in Osaka, I feel like they have a Chimwemwe dance. Huh? And, yeah. and can I just say something about um, People always ask uh, this question, what is Zambia music? These guys came out with a different touch, different type of music. So for me, I feel if these guys had to go international, they'll actually put Zambia on the map to say, okay, this is Zambia music. This is what we do as Zambia. So Zambian. it would be a very good idea it if you guys be. would go international would than the local. Uh, Finally, they can just learn this is Okay. So uh, our third jam, uh, this is uh, a gospel artist who I'm not sure if is a gospel artist or and gospel artist. So his name is Abdo Chumbo and he did a song called Extra Time. So I'm not sure if truly is a gospel artist or what. But before we talk much about Abdo Chumbo, let's listen to the jam Extra Time. Or probably an inspirational artist. Yeah, it's an inspiration artist. He does music for everyone. Okay. So I like the song and the way he came up with his tune. It's international and yeah. Okay. Yeah, um I wanted to talk about what you said. Um you don't know if Albert Chung is a gospel artist or if he's a secular artist. But my question is, who's a gospel artist? Me growing up, um People told me to say gospel music was not the genre, so I mean. So I don't think this guy should be questioned to say if he's a gospel artist or not. But what should be followed is the message he brings out in our music. Yeah, and coming back to my opinion about the song, this song is my favorite song this year actually. This song is perfect, it's on point, everything is nice. And I love the fact that he put an international and local um, spicing it. Okay, so this is actually not the first song we've heard about the love and emotional overflowing. Yeah, exactly. There's also each time we go. So, you know, for Zambian people to really know who Abel Chungu truly is, um, can you please tell us more about how Zambian people would understand the fact that he's also an inspiration artist as far as the gospel artist? No, it's like this, huh? I feel Chumu can do gospel and he can sing about love. Because I feel like everybody falls in love at some point. Just because he does gospel, it doesn't mean he can't go further, he can't explore. So, so I, I really like the jam and I even I, I, I even dedicated it to my, oh, my wow. girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah, uh, I want to say this. Even when you look into the Bible, the songs of solo. They talk about love. But do you question the Bible say, is this the Bible or oh, is that the book? Yes, it, it involves that as well. So a person should know the fact that that game is his is woman. So um, even the downtown guys can do a gospel song at some point. <laughs> we need to spread our God. Why not? We need to give them. And actually, we're planning to do that. So people should look out 